Would you please join me in welcoming Alok to the podium? What's up, fam? <laughs> Greetings, distinguished faculty, families, and fellow students. My name is Alok Gupta, and I'm proud to be a member of this illustrious class of 2017. It's a big year for all of us, both students and faculty alike. To the College of Engineering faculty, I'd like to congratulate you all on 50 impactful, empowering, and enriching years here at UCSB. And to my fellow students, as we use this day to celebrate our achievements that got us to this point and begin to look to the future, I'd like to ask all of us the following question. What would we attempt to achieve if both our perception of and response to failure were changed? Failure may be a larger attribute to our accomplishments today than we may initially realize. As we reflect upon our formative college experiences, there have been times where our failures let our parents down, times where our failures erased our own self-confidence, and times where our failures made us fearful of our own futures. And yet, here we are. Through our continued persistence and perseverance, these failures have and will continue to enable us to learn, grow, and accomplish more than we could have ever imagined. Whether it was a homework assignment we procrastinated too long on, an exam score that was lower than our age, that cute girl that we didn't talk to, or an interview for our dream job, we have all failed at some points of our lives. Personally, I've failed more times than I can count. Believe me, it's really disappointing to get rejected from an internship at Home Depot without even an interview. <laughs> My sophomore year, I was working as an instructor at a summer camp, only to be fired a little over four weeks into the job. I'm sorry, Mom, you don't know this, but... <laughs> the sense of humiliation and pure dread for my future that I felt that Tuesday is one that I'll remember for the rest of my life. It was so humiliating, I pretended to go to work for the rest of the week before telling my parents that I quit due to the long hours and low pay. In reality, I'd wave my mom goodbye in the mornings, only to drive to the end of the street, take a U-turn, and go crash at my friend's house. We've all felt disappointment before, and we will all feel disappointment again. However, these, these feelings are short-lived as long as we learn from our failures and move on. They say that trial and error are the prime means of solving life's problems. Yet, many of us are afraid to undertake the trial in fear of experiencing the error. We make the mistake of assuming that all error is wrong and harmful when most of it is helpful and sometimes even necessary. Error provides the feedback that points the way to success. In fact, it is only error that pushes for further trials. This process is constantly repeated until one solution, one success is finally achieved. So Ichiro Honda agrees with this sentiment, stating that success represents the 1% of your work, which results from the other 99% that we refer to as failure. We've all told our parents that the test went okay when we know, without a single doubt in our minds, it did not go okay. <laughs> but we bounce back harder than ever before. We start studying for that next test ahead of time. We establish study groups that double as support systems. And we fight temptations to sleep the night before the exam, sometimes with inappropriate amounts of caffeine. Why do we do it? We do it to prove to ourselves that we can overcome these hurdles. And overcome, we have. Our presence here today validates this. With these experiences, we're now capable of taking bigger risks and facing larger challenges than ever before. And even if we fail, we know it's nothing but one step closer to success. They say a quitter never wins and a winner never quits. With that, I'd like to congratulate our amazing class of 2017 for never quitting. Thank you all, and let's keep winning.